Yeah, let's talk about this nude. Ad. Ron Paul. Well, that's Ron Paul. That's Ron Paul. I okay. haven't seen this yet. I'd, I'd like to see it. All I right, I'll show it to you. It's the latest it attack on Newt Gingrich it. coming from Texas Congressman Ron Paul. Paul is taking aim at what he says is Gingrich's changing record and ties to Washington insiders. In a scathing web video, the Paul campaign labels Gingrich a quote serial hypocrite. Beyond the words is a real question of policy and a real question of values and a real question of seriousness. The real question of policy. We don't always see eye to eye, do we, Newt? No, but we do agree our country must take action to address climate change. Newt Gingrich has been on both sides of a long list of issues, sometimes in the same week. I don't think right-wing social engineering is any more desirable than left-wing social engineering. With allies like that, who needs the left? If you want to put people in jail, let's look at the politicians who created the environment, the politicians who profited from the environment, politicians who profited from the environment. Newt Gingrich on the defense for taking one and a half million bucks. After he left Congress, Freddie Mac paid Gingrich at least $1.6 million. $1.6 million, some of it just before the housing market collapsed. Everything that Gingrich railed against when he was in the house he went the other way when he got paid to go the other way now that's that's a pretty damning attack when you put everything next to each other what's his words yeah it's, it's his own words it's the most effective ad always but let's put some perspective on this it wasn't long ago everyone was laughing at newt gingrich he was going on the greek cruise his entire campaign staff abandoned him Tiffany's. here he is now drawing the attention not just ron paul but more importantly of mitt romney a couple nights ago on fox news romney started going after explicitly newt gingrich and we're learning from politico this morning that the romney campaign is preparing an attack, full-fledged attack on Newt Gingrich with ads and everything else calling him a Washington insider and a flip-flopper. The Romney campaign is now taking Newt Gingrich very seriously. Well, I think Newt Gingrich is the first serious challenge yeah. that they've had. You look at the numbers, and again, this happens very quickly, so we have to put a caveat on this. You know, Rick Perry was in first place by a good bet. Herman Cain was in first place. This is a, and they did, they did well all across the southeast. This week, though, if you're Mitt Romney, and we're getting closer and closer, you know, Newt's way ahead in South Carolina. He's way ahead in Florida. He's way ahead in, in other states. If Newt wins Iowa and then wins South Carolina and then wins Florida, he's off to the races. So Mitt does have uh, something to and, worry about. And clearly there's data that's suggesting they should focus on him. So we, we shouldn't only look at the facts that uh, Newt Gingrich brings to the table in terms of hypocrisy, but there's clearly support and interest in him, which I, I, I find confusing, but it's a part of the reality there that we have to look at. Well, there is a base out there that is attracted to him. Well, the thing is, Jim Cramer, you have, with a lot of these other people, like, say, Michelle Bachman, she's relatively new to national politics. You can say the same thing about Herman Cain. Uh, Newt Gingrich is a brand. He yeah. is a name brand. And as conservatives go from one flawed candidate to another, they are desperately looking for the anti-Romney. And at least with a guy named Newt Gingrich, you can say, well, you know what? He did, he did bring Republicans to the, the, the speakership for the first time in 40 years. He's a brand they know, so maybe he doesn't melt away as quickly as these other pretenders. Well, he does seem very Teflon-like on all these different charges. Fannie and Freddie. This is the two most disgraced institutions maybe of the year in terms of the housing crisis. He's affiliated with them. That's in the media they say he's affiliated with them. No one seems to think of him as someone who took a lot of money from bad well, agencies. Hold on. It's even better than that. He's affiliated with them after saying that politicians who are affiliated with them should go to jail. Hey, he I mean, was first speaker. of all, Mr. Who, speaker. Who, who says that when they know they've right. got a million and a half dollars from Fannie or Freddie and then says anybody <laughs> that has profited from Fannie and Freddie should go to jail? Well, who says Newt that? Gingrich does. Someone who's, got, who's contemptuous of the media and doesn't think that uh, 10 articles in the New York Times mean anything. Yeah, I saw him attack yeah. Maria Bartiromo when we were at the GOP uh, the, the debate. I mean, he attacks her. He basically says the media, you know, like, people hate the media they, yeah. and he wants to join them. You know, it's very funny. Last night, uh, I, I went on Twitter at the end of the day, just for a few minutes, and uh, a lot of anger, a lot of rage from Newt supporters. And they kept saying, why do you hate Newt? Why is it so first? I don't hate Newt. I don't, I don't really, I never even got to know Newt. Right. I felt kind of bad when the conservatives got together and drove him out of the speakership because 
he lost his ideological moorings. And you talk to Tom Coburn or you talk to Steve Lorge and you talk to any of these guys, they uh, talk to Matt Salmon, uh, talk to Mark Sanford, and they will tell you that Newt came in as a contract with America conservative and he lost his way. Well, it's not personal. I don't really, I have, I would say this about my mother. If my mom was like saying, hey, you know, anybody that, anybody that, you know, got money from Fannie and Freddie should go to jail. I'd say, Mom, you got money from Fannie and Freddie. It's not personal to say this guy, to me at least, yeah. is not fit to be president of the and United States. I think States. that it's fairly clear in terms of uh, your analysis that it is definitely not personal. I would have to say that I don't think I have the most unbiased view about him and so and and that I, I, I get upset and, and it's definitely personal and so I should be transparent about that right and I think I should you, definitely I, be I transparent think, about that I think you've been very transparent what about I don't that. know no I don't know but what I don't understand is when I, I, I mean this is black and white it is and this is black and I've white got, I've got to is, say seriously when people get angry at me for just putting quotation marks around Newt Gingrich's words and when they get angry at me for saying that he attacked Paul Ryan, when they get angry at me for saying he was the biggest lobbyist for Fannie and Freddie, when they get angry with me for saying that he was the biggest supporter of Medicare Part D, a program that's bankrupting America today, the most socialistic program, if Newt loves to throw socialism around, the most socialistic program since LBJ's Great Society, um, they can get angry with me all they want to. It's Newt's words, and um, that's why it doesn't bother me, Jeffrey Sachs. As your hero, Ronald Reagan, said, oh, yes. facts are stubborn things. This guy is the ultimate insider uh, influence peddler that we have, and that's not what's going to play in 2012. So this is another little blip. Another uh, guy or who's going nowhere. Or great news for Obama. Well, I, I, um, think, I think in the end it is great news for is, Mitt Romney. I think mm -hmm. Mitt Romney Probably. once again has a flawed challenger. You better believe Just it. Just like Rick Perry before and Michelle Bachman before and you go through the list. Herman Cain before. He has another flawed challenger that will take him on Absolutely. that he will defeat. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up.